Hi everyone, I'm just re-uploading the daytime running lights video because the audio quality was pretty poor. Um, so let's get started. Uh, first you need to have three things in place before you should start. Um, first is a file manager application, I use Mixplorer. And then you need an advanced application installer, I use App Manager. Um, both these files are in my iCloud Drive share under the applications folder, so please go look for it. And then you need to go to the camping mode brackets DRL file folder to copy the China car settings app and put it somewhere in your car. I put it into local download. Um, don't install it yet. Only copy it over. I can't stress that enough. Do not install this yet. All right, copy it over. Um, for these two applications that you uh, that, that you install, make sure you run them once at least, so that they can get the permissions that they need. Okay, once you do, just close all the apps. Cool, so let's get started. So once you have the two apps and the one file in place, um, first you want to go to App Manager. Then you want to search for Car Settings. And then you're looking for com.byd.car settings. Click once, or tap once if you're in the car. Um, I'm on version 1.3.1.46.23041. Um, this version number might be different depending on if you're watching this in the future or if you're watching this in your car's on version 1.4 OTA or whatever else. But the procedure is the same, okay? So once you found com.byd.car settings, top right, share. And this is where Me Explorer comes in. You want to choose Me Explorer, copy to, okay? Copy to. So now you choose where you want to go. Internal storage, scroll down, download. So this is where the Chinese car setting app is. And then you go to this clipboard and then you just click on this to proceed. Cool, um, it's called car setting. I'm just going to rename it for uh, easier legibility. So if I do rename, where's rename? Oh, I guess you can't rename it here. That's all right. I'll go back to the file manager app. Download, car setting, rename, here we go. I'm just gonna call AU, AU car setting. Okay, just to make it extra clear. Okay, so now you've backed up your original file and now you have the Chinese file. So now you can proceed with actually installing it, okay? Um, we need to use App Manager to install this, otherwise it won't work. So don't left click it, uh, don't tap it because you'll get this. You can't install it using the default method. You have to press and hold or click and hold. Three dots here, open with, and then App Manager, install. Now it should give you this warning, a bunch of minuses, don't worry about that. We're not doing anything permanent. This won't this won't damage anything. Downgrade. Um, it will not tell you when the thing is done. So give it about ten seconds, and then we can verify that it's done. Now, how do you know that it actually completed? So by default, these buttons should be on the right, because in Australia we sit on the right to drive, which is why these shortcuts on the right. But because it's uh, the Chinese app is on the left because they drive on the left hand side. So once this is here, you know you've done everything right up to up until this point. Um, click on vehicle settings. You should be on light ambient by default. Scroll down and here we go, day driving light. So I'll just show you guys what it looks like right now. So right now it's on, obviously. So driving recorder, right? You see the eyebrows here, okay. So you, that's how you know it's on. Go ahead to here, day driving light off. We'll check again. And as you can see, pitch black. Right, and we'll just turn it back on just to prove that this is not a fluke. Turn it back on, driver recorder, and the eyebrows are back. Okay, so I'm just going to turn it off because I do want to turn it off. It's adding unnecessary light pollution to the neighborhood, so turn off. So once it's off, um, I highly recommend, unless you're only turning it off for 30 minutes to one hour and you know that you're not driving the car, then just leave it. But once you are ready to start driving again, you should definitely turn DRL back on. Not only is it a safety feature, um, you want to put the Australian car settings app back onto your car 
because that's the one that's designed for your particular car, okay? The Chinese car settings app is for the BYD UM Plus, which is for the Chinese domestic market vehicle. You don't want to be using it if you don't have to, okay? So once everything's done, uh, tap or click and hold car Australia car settings APK, three dots here, open with, app manager install, it should say update now instead of downgrade update. Once again, give it about 10 seconds because it won't tell you if it's done. It's about 10 seconds. Settings. And see, everything is back on the right. That's how you know that um, uh, the settings app has been refreshed to the one that you backed up before you started any of this. Okay. So it's incredibly important that you back up. Um, but yeah, uh, I will also have the written instructions in the, the description of the video in case I went too fast um, yeah but this is how you turn off the daytime running lights of your car because as you can see in the Australian version we're missing that toggle right here it's supposed to be here or here I think but yeah you get the point okay